I think in the school system, they don't want us to learn about money because they just want to pump out good employees that do what they're told. It's opposite of what it takes to be successful. The school's a scam, and it's the biggest scam on earth. And the reason it's a scam is because it operates in a vacuum. Throughout our lives, we've been led to believe that the surefire way to success is through the school system. But this is just one of the many lies that the Matrix has fed us since we were young. You know the script. Go to school, get a degree, get a job with a good salary so you can pay your bills and do it for the next 70 years. But is this really the only path to a fulfilling life? You'd be surprised to find out that it isn't. As a matter of fact, the school system can even kill it. The truth is that the path to success, to living life on your terms, and to becoming a one percenter lies outside the school system. Once upon a time, there was a young girl named Lily who dreamed of becoming a painter ever since she was a little girl. She would spend hours painting and drawing, and she was fully supported by her parents, who believed in her talent. Like every other kid in town, Lily had to attend school. She did well in her studies and got good grades. However, as the years went by, she started to doubt herself. Lily saw her peers' choices and the pressure to fit in, and her dream of becoming a painter slowly faded away. One day, she stumbled upon an experiment that revealed how social conditioning can affect someone's dreams. The experiment resonated with her, and she realized that she was not alone. That like her, many other people's dreams have been impacted, or worse, outright crushed by the pressures of society. Lily knew she didn't want to become one of those whose dreams would be destroyed by the system. She decided it was time to take a stand and follow her dreams, no matter what. She started painting again, and the more she painted, the more she realized how much she loved it. Lily began to share her work on social media, and she started getting attention for her paintings. She received an invitation to showcase them at a local art exhibit, and her parents and friends came to show their support. On the day of the exhibition, Lily felt a sense of accomplishment and pride. She had followed and fought for her dream against all odds, and it had paid off. She stood before the audience and with tears in her eyes, encouraged everyone to pursue their passions and never let anyone tell them what they can or cannot do. Lily realized that the experiment she had stumbled upon had shown her the way, inspiring her to relentlessly follow her dreams. So, what exactly was the experiment that she discovered? It went as follows. A teacher asked the kindergarten class a simple question. If you believe that you're going to be a singer, raise your right hand. And what happened was that most of the class raised their hands, fully believing that they would become singers. Years later, when the kids were older and in middle school, they were asked the same question. If you believe that you are going to be a singer, raise your right hand. This time, however, only two students raised their hands. What does this all mean? So they just teach you what they want to teach you instead of finding out what the child is interested in and teaching to that. I think kids come out of school scared to death of making a mistake, they come out paralyzed, they don't know what they want to do because their, their spirit and their creativity has been crushed inside of them. Crushed inside of them. All our lives, we've been trained to believe that the only way to be successful is to get a good education, land a stable job, and climb the corporate ladder. We still tell kids to go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, and get out of debt. Now who tells them to do that? That's the most ridiculous thing there is. We are always told by our parents, teachers, and society that if we don't have a degree, we won't be able to make it in the real world. And while some may believe this to be true, this traditional mindset has a dark side. The dark side of the school system is that it trains us to become slaves to the nine to five job. We are taught to follow a rigid structure and conform to societal norms, all in the name of being successful. Think about it. Schools require you to perform, to get good grades, to do as the teachers say, and if you do, you get rewarded. But what if you don't? What if you fail? What if you don't pass the exams or flunk the recitations? You get slapped with detention, and the school calls your parents. Your child is not performing, they tell them. What's the message in all of this? 
It's that you're only successful if you conform and do things as they're supposed to be done. That's why schools reward performance and good grades while, at the same time, penalizing mistakes and failures. But how can you build resilience and character if you don't make mistakes? How do you build character if you're not taught how to deal with failure? And how can you truly become successful if you don't fail? The sad reality is that the school system often leaves little room for creativity, passion, and pursuing our true dreams. Instead, it conditions us to fit into predetermined boxes, and those who don't fit the mold are often stigmatized or marginalized. What's worse is that this traditional way of thinking can be limiting, leaving many of us feeling trapped and unfulfilled. We are taught that our worth is based on our job title or salary, and we can become stuck in a cycle of working long hours, often sacrificing our personal lives in the process. All of this is for the promise of a stable job, a decent paycheck, and the hope of a comfortable retirement. The most successful people in the world are often the ones who have taken risks, and therefore made the most mistakes. And guess who are the ones that remain plugged into the matrix? That's right, the good students, the ones who followed the rules, did everything right, and avoided making mistakes. Another thing they don't tell you is that this fake idea of success via school comes at a high cost. The rising cost of education has resulted in a student loan crisis, with millions of people being trapped in debt for years, if not decades. This system has conditioned us to believe that student loans are a necessary evil and that we need to sacrifice our present for a better future. Student loan repayments. Student loan loan updates money regarding borrow, student loan forgiveness. For school with the agreement that you'll pay that money back in the future. future. You can get a loan for school, but you can't use that money for anything else because if they put the education system into the fair market of capitalism, it would fail. If they give you $10,000 and say you can get a degree, invest the money in a business, or do anything you want with it, who's going to choose a degree? Nobody. So they say you can get the money if you use it for education, which brings us back to the harsh reality of traditional education systems, which leave many of us broke and fighting to make ends meet. We labor endlessly to repay our school debts, only to get trapped in a never-ending cycle of working to survive. While we focus on paying expenses and making ends meet, our thoughts of pursuing a passion or establishing our own business fade. What's worse is that this cycle can be difficult to break free from. We're taught to value stability and security, so we cling to our jobs, even if they don't bring us joy or fulfillment. We work long hours, sacrificing our time and energy for a paycheck, while the idea of pursuing our passions and doing what we love becomes a mere pipe dream. The traditional education system also doesn't prepare us for the real world. We're not taught financial literacy or how to manage money effectively. We're not taught how to create a budget, invest in stocks or real estate, or even how to file our taxes. This lack of knowledge can be detrimental to our financial well-being, leaving us at the mercy of the system and struggling to make ends meet. If you see me pull up in my Bugatti in a gas station, do you look at me and think, wow, he went to school? Fuck no. You no, think no, drug no. dealer, gangster, scammer? <laughs> yeah. That's how much you know school's a scam. You don't look at someone rich and respect them thinking he went to school. The rat race is a term used to describe the never-ending cycle of working long hours, often in a job we don't enjoy, just to make ends meet. We wake up early, fight traffic, and spend the majority of our day working for someone else. This cycle can be exhausting and lead to burnout, leaving us feeling unfulfilled and stuck in a dead-end job. In Lily's story, we saw how her passion for painting was affected by the rat race. She was once a little girl with a dream to become a painter, but as she grew older, the pressures of fitting in and following the traditional path of success started to cloud her vision. Lily almost got herself trapped in the vision of a 9-to-5 job, where, like everyone else in the rat race, she has to work to keep the matrix going while feeling unfulfilled and losing her passion for painting. But after stumbling upon the pivotal experiment that showed the impact of social conditioning on a person's dreams, Lily realized that she didn't have to follow the predetermined path. She made the bold decision to pursue her passion for painting and break free from the daily grind of the rat race. 
This decision wasn't easy and it took a lot of courage for Lily to step out of her comfort zone. She had to face her fears and take risks, but in the end, it was worth it. Lily found fulfillment in doing what she loved and her passion for painting was reignited. She no longer felt trapped in a job she didn't enjoy and instead, she was able to live a life of purpose. And if Lily can do it, there's no reason you can't. The rat race may be the norm in our society, but it's not the only path to success. We can break free from the daily grind and pursue our passions, no matter how unconventional they may be. It takes courage, determination, and a willingness to take risks, but in the end, the reward is a life filled with purpose and fulfillment. Breaking free from the cycle of the traditional education system in the rat race requires courage and determination. It means leaving your comfort zone and taking a leap of faith toward pursuing your true passions and purpose in life. For many, breaking out of the school system is a huge risk. Furthermore, doing so plunges you into the unknown. If you abandon the school system, you don't know what's in store for you and you may experience fear. But understand this, fear is natural when taking a risk, but it's essential to recognize it and embrace it. Acknowledge your fears and use them as motivation to push forward towards your goals. You need to believe in your abilities and trust that you have what it takes to succeed. As early as now, Take out the programming that's been installed in you by the school system, saying that you cannot make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes along the way, as this is life. As a matter of fact, making mistakes is encouraged. There is nothing to be proud of if you are right all the time, but the more mistakes you make, the better you equip yourself to deal with life's adversities. Don't let mistakes deter you from your dreams. If anything, you should view mistakes as stepping stones that bring you closer and closer to success. This doesn't mean you should be reckless and just rack up mistake after mistake. Breaking free from the cycle doesn't mean throwing caution to the wind. It's essential to take calculated risks, meaning you evaluate the pros and cons and weigh the risks versus rewards. Breaking free from the cycle can be challenging, so it's crucial to have a supportive network of friends, family, or mentors who can encourage and guide you along the way. Surround yourself with people who will push you to be better and people who you want to emulate. Finally, remember that success doesn't happen overnight. It takes time and effort to build something meaningful. For people who have spent most of their lives plugged in the matrix, it takes years to build the strength and confidence to unplug themselves and forget their own path. So be patient with yourself and trust the process. Taking ownership of your life and breaking free from the cycle can be a tough journey, but it is possible to create a meaningful life that you can be proud of. As the famous author John Tolkien once said, it's not the strength of the body that counts, but the strength of the spirit. Take control and focus on what matters to you, your values, goals, and dreams, rather than being held back by the cycle. With faith and determination, it is possible to break free and reach your highest potential.